Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2019 Westminster High School Homecoming Parade. Here at the judges' table, I'm Steve Saunders, the Chief Communications Officer, and also Superintendent Pam Swanson, who's going to provide a lot of the commentary. So we're so glad you could turn out uh, this morning. 31 floats representing eight different schools. So uh, we want to appreciate or thank all of the principals and students at all of the schools who jumped into this because Pam, it's uh, something you encourage a lot. I think it's our, our biggest hometown parade yet and I love it. So as always, the Westminster Police Department is at the front of the parade and they do such a great job on parade day, but through the course of the year, they're just great partners to the district, making sure all of our kids and staff are safe and secure. Followed right behind them is the, R the Air Force JROTC. And they're going to post some colors for us. So as we wait for the Board of Education, which by the way, I should tell you that uh, the theme this year is Candyland and they've got plenty of candy coming out of their truck as well. But the Board of Education really unique to this community in that all five current members and also the incoming member are all graduates from the school district, which is unique, which is special. Thanks guys. Man. We've got some of the administration with them too, and uh, if we don't get banged in the head with this candy, there will be some left for the children. I was in it for Joe. <laughs> and as we look at Max Math, Westminster High School just celebrated its 40th reunion. And Christy. Which was a special night for them. Followed by the Westminster Education Association. Woo! And for years and years, Fran Groff Gonzalez has been on the other side of the parade, helping to organize it. But now as president of the organization, she's writing in the parade. Look Westminster High School Future Center Look at now you. joining Look us. At doggy bones. <laughs> Thanks for being here this morning, guys. For those of you who don't know, through the Future Center, they are so focused on helping students and families prepare for Pam. What do we call it? The day after graduation, most important day in a kid's academic career. Very good. Next up is another. Part of the uh, component to that is the Westminster High School Career Technical Education Program. And Dr. Swanson, the district has put a real focus on that, hasn't it? I will. Yes, we have. Thank you. Love it. So just some of the signs here you see here. Future 2D Animatra, Future Voice, Future Illustrator, Future Pediatrician. Future electrician, future welder, future pastry chef. We got it all, and that's what's so important is that these students are learning these skills at the high school level. So many of them will either be prepared to go into college to continue it or walk right into a job. The band, the band director coming up here, Megan, is dressed like the main character in Candyland, that game. So, woohoo! And don't they look sharp in their brand new? marching band uniforms and because we are at the judges table they're going to stop and perform for us so we'll take a listen
Mark, five, mark, and left. Forward, mark, left. Very nice. Thank you guys very much. All right, Colorado STEM Academy, thanks for showing up this morning. Thanks for bringing candy, too. <laughs> Followed closely by the Westminster Academy for International Studies. You know what? Let's take a look at that. And like I said, eight schools participating this year, which is pretty special because the intent to make us is not just a high school event, but a community wide event. Oh Next up, and goodness. I think somebody's Bribery. trying to bribe the judges. They just brought us some uh, Dunkin' Donuts. So thank you guys so much. Speaking of judges, here are the categories, which we'll be uh, weighing this morning. Most spirit, most creative, loudest, most interesting, most academic, best overall design, best depiction of homecoming theme, and favorite Fairview. float. Next up is Fairview Elementary. And Lisa's here oh my gosh, and her group. Great Whoa. job, Fairview Elementary. Oh, there's Lisa. <laughs> this is awesome. Most no spirit so far. Oh my gosh, I think so. You guys are wow, awesome. Wow, you guys really, really put it together this year. Thank you, Fairview Elementary. That is a lot of work. By the way, Mike Lynch is with us as well, so you may hear him uh, with some observation as well. So, Mike, uh, chime in as you as you see fit here. Well, I got to say, Fairview has the most spirit so far, but the free uh, bag of donuts <laughs> from Wa is is certainly swaying the judges' table greatly. Can I get some milk, please? Anyone have milk? Two percent. <laughs> Next up, FM Day Elementary, yeah. home of the Bulldogs. Look at the Bulldogs. Eileen Double Ducks, the principal. And you are looking so good this morning. Eileen, right up front. Right on top. <laughs> All right. Oh, woo. Good morning, Eileen. FM Day continues. Wow, do you guys have a float this year? Wow! Great job, guys! Wow, look at the Bulldog! Buddy the Bulldog! I love it! FM Day! Oh my goodness! That's awesome! And this is what we were talking about, Dr. Swans. It's not just a high school event. No, this is like a whole Westminster Public Schools family event. Thank you, guys! Looking good. Wow. Next up, Big Metropolitan work. Arts Academy. Of course you know it. <laughs> which you uh, would guess if you know any uh, sense of this school that they are going to go all out. They are such creative people, oh which a, a lot of people may not know yet about oh Mets Elementary is now the Met, correct, Dr. Swanson? That's exactly right. The Metropolitan <laughs> Arts Academy and their spring or their musical this year is going to be the Lion King. Let's hear you roar, Matt. All right. <laughs> and there's Miss Trujillo, all in her animal outfit up there. You guys look awesome. Let me hear you roar like the lion on Lion King. All right. All right. I know. Awesome. So first year for the Met, which for uh, those of you who don't know is part of now our creative arts pipeline. The school focuses on uh, kids with, with strengths focusing on the arts. Exactly. Dance, uh, instrumental, vocal, 
visual arts and they are rocking it and they're under a remodel that's going to be beautiful. Lori Renkoffen, Mesa Elementary Woo! School. Here we go, Mesa. You knew Lori would be out here. Talk about community support. She, she's a great, great example of that. Thanks for being here, Lori. Good job, Lori. Thanks for the candy, too. All right, awesome overload. What does that mean? We're going to find out. This is also Mesa Elementary. The Candyland Express is what I'm reading here. Oh my goodness, there's Mesa and all of their spirit. Woohoo! You guys look great. Our, our, Thank you, Mesa Candyland Express. Our bus has never looked so good. I think everybody this year has just outdone Hodgkins! themselves. Hodgkins! Way to go, oh, Steve! Steve Dan out front. Good to see you, Steve. We have horses. We have horses, we have puppies, we have Hodgkins. And we have candy. That's and we right. have more candy. That's exactly right. Josephine Hodgkins. Leadership Academy. They went to sixth grade this year and they're going to grow to seven and eight over the next two years and they have lots and lots of candy to throw and spirit to show. Thank you Hodgkins Leadership Academy. Okay and here are those wolf girls. And we get one of the benefits of being at the judges table some special attention. Take it away guys. Thank you very much. And of course, this is homecoming week coming up. So a busy, busy week for our Westie cheerleaders. Lots of events going on all week long. We have pajama day on Monday. We have crazy hair day, I know, one day. And a whole lot of other stuff. And powder puffs powder down puff there football, somewhere. Yeah. Yep, that's right. Which the entire community is invited to attend. And you're asked to bring a uh, canned food item as well to support the community as well. Thank you guys. Very good, good job. Job well done. You look great. Next up, best buddies. Good to see you guys this morning. Thanks for showing up. Right. Thanks for being everybody's best buddies. There's there's Howler. Woo, Sherwood. Here's Miss Davis. Cindy Davis up front, Sherwood Elementary. Go Tigers. The Kindness Squad. And boy, don't you guys look great this you morning. Thank you amazing. so much. And I love the Bronco hat over there. Great hat. They got the right color for it. That's right. Look at you guys. Thank you. Woo! Cheryl Wood Elementary, you guys look so good this morning. And there's our tiger. Looking awesome. Yes. I don't know how the judges are going to make decisions this it's morning. We have by far the best, best floats we've had. As long as I've been here. Thank you, Sherwood Elementary. The class is the class of 2023. I do have to say, there's somebody up here with a pillowcase who's just cleaning up. 
This is Halloween come early, right? <laughs> Licorice Land. Oh my goodness. Class of 2022 Love it. taking Land. over. Twizzlers. Good to see you, class of 2022. Michelle Music. Good to see you, Michelle. Licorice Land. Wow, they captured it. All right, the football team is here, and Mike, you've got some thoughts on who's all here representing the football team. Hey, Coach. Yeah, our understanding, these are captains, uh, freshmen, and JV has a game this morning. Is that right? All right. Well, good luck to them. Nice job, fellas. And, of course, the homecoming football game next Friday night versus Adams City High School. It would be great to have the whole community turn out to support the football team in the annual homecoming Woo! game. Killing next up, of course, our lowriders, and they are here each and every year. That's why. And as one of the license plates reads, killing it, and they do. They do, every year. They support us every year, and oh my goodness. Ladies' I, choice. Nice, I, very nice. I think I would need a chiropractor if I had to ride in one of these. Oh my goodness, the moves they have. Thank you, low riders. Every year, you guys are here every year. You're a special part of the parade. Thank you so much. Guys, we really, really appreciate the lowriders turning up. All right, next up, you can guess, a little soccer action. So good morning, Westminster High School soccer team. Great to have you here with us this morning. Next up, Shannon Willie and the Random Knights. Thank you for being here, Adam, as always. There's Miss Danielle the Tonjes, who organizes dream. everything over there, yeah. I think. All right. Next up, we have, and they're hauling. I think this is still part of Random. Still part of Random. Or maybe it's culinary arts. Oh, culinary. Is it culinary? I'm not sure. All right, the class of 2020, of course, the senior class. All right, go seniors. They do have a big week ahead of them. Something special going on every day. And of course, the homecoming game and then the homecoming dance next Saturday, a week from tonight. So uh, a busy, busy week for the senior class. Congratulations, seniors, you're just about there. Next up, the Creative Arts Pipeline. I think Justin Davis probably had something to do with this. I think so. The Westminster, the Westminster Orchestra, the Westminster Choir. There's Justin. <laughs> Aaron moving along. All right, Lindsay Smith, a candidate for Westminster City Council. And of course, we encourage everyone to get out and vote, study the issues, study the candidates, make your voice be heard. And that concludes this year's parade. Thanks much, guys. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for collecting the candy. So again, thank you everyone for showing up this year. I think, I think this was clearly the best parade yet. Thanks for turning out, everybody.